Welcome back to the Dragon's Forge. Even though we're not inside in our normal training location, you are the forge. So at the base of the spine, we have the tiger pounding out the raw material on the anvil that's gonna go up into the second center where the snake gets a hold of it and works its waters now, when we're practicing through the movements of snake, we're moving through the water element. So if we want to replicate that density, one of the best ways to do this when we get to weaponry is with the moon staff. Comes in two pieces, screws apart. And that's probably going to be listed as stainless steel kung fu staff. Two sectional. It comes with a case. I can't remember... I'm pretty sure it's winglom.com. Once again, one of my students gifted me this. We appreciate you, Mr. Nine. Thanks for your dedication. So under the weight of the metallic staff, which is pretty heavy, the blood is gonna follow the movement of the weapon. So the blood is gonna change under the weight of the weapon, the movement with the weapon. So one of the first things that we do is gonna be difficult so I'm not going to start with the moon staff on that. I highly recommend you use a rattan staff to start this motion. A broom handle if you don't have it. Now I'm going to demonstrate this technique. It's an age-old technique we've been practicing for many years. What you want to do is get to the point. One-handed. This is going to give you a lot of dexterity. So to start this motion, we have to go this way. But remember, when you try to turn, if you go over the back of the hand like this, see how much staff there? You're gonna run out of room. You can't make another turn or you're gonna lose it. So how do we get this thing to oscillate back and forth? Well, if you look at this point on the staff and look at where my hand is, that's a pretty long way. If I roll it, you go over the thumb, just over the back of the wrist, grabbing the staff. Now, when you turn it, it will go back equal distance back. You see, it's oscillating backwards and forwards on the same two points, okay? This training here now is the fire staff. We're creating heat using fire, learning speed. This is leopard in that furnace in the forge, which is the solar plexus. The leopard is making that fire with its lightning fast movements, diving, rolling, kicking, jumping, leaping, turning, twisting. However, that's the tutorial beginning. This video is about the moon staff. Now under heavy weight, we have to be careful with this. So you want to practice that first because now the blood is being affected much more. Now we're working our blood. Being able to control the weight. Now this thing is pretty heavy. And if you're not used to it, you might want to go back to the regular staff for a little bit. So the next pattern we're going to play with is the arm over arm flower with the moon staff. Like so. Now this is water, snake energy. This is the moon staff changing the blood. So when we do this, we want to relax, feel the blood moving, feel the blood following the weapon. If I want to change directions, now I go up, you see? Now I'm going up, down without stopping, see? This is moon energy flowing. Continuous motion, changing directions without stopping. This will magnify the sensitivity in the blood Someone pushes on you empty-handed. You feel and you yield. Opening space, moving, yielding. 
Nothing under heaven is more yielding than water. We appreciate you watching. Seafood Les Clements out.